Hello everyone, it's Bernadette here, Simply Be Art Cape Town. Thank you for being here with me again. Today, just uh, before I'm going to be busy with my painting, I thought I'm going to share some dried results with you. So, the first one is the ring pour that I recently did. And look at that shine. That is the, the varnish. Oh, isn't it beautiful? The varnish that I apply, it's a spray varnish. And this is uh, two coats of spray varnish, but the colors are just so beautiful and the painting dried just as I left it when it was wet. So that's the recent hexagon. I'm also very happy with the way the Dutch pour blowed out and how it dried. So also very, very stunning. And it's also got, this one has only got one coat of spray resin, but it is so beautiful. And painting dried phenomenally well. So this painting is for sale. If everyone is interested in buying this, please email me. My email is in the description box. As well as this hexagon. This is a 25 centimeter hexagon. It's also available for purchase. This painting is the 30 centimeter hexagon. Also dried beautifully well and has got two coats of varnish lovely lovely sheen and perfect perfectly flat and dry so so beautiful so that painting's also for sale if anybody would like to purchase please email me and then the last one that i want to show you is the tree swipe that i recently did as well this one does not yet have a finish it is a natural in its natural dried form but look at how stunning this painting dried. Really, really gorgeous. So this painting is also for sale. It's 11 by 14 or as we know it here in South Africa, it's on an A3 size. And it will get two coats of spray varnish as well. And I will look how beautiful and clean the back is. I still have to remove the tape. But the backs are all nice and clean. So thank you once again for being here and to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate everybody that has clicked on that red button to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Thank you very much for being here. That's it for the dried results. Let's get to today's poll. Hi everyone, I'm going to be doing a Dutch poll for you. On a white base this time, I've done some Dutch pours with split bases and I've done one with a black base. And you've just seen the dried results of those. So let me, um, let me flood the canvas. I'm going to be spreading the paint out with my spatula. This is a 50 centimeter wood round. It's quite a big wood round. And I want just a nice, elegant painting once again. I'll tell you the colors in a minute. Just spreading that evenly. I've been trying so hard these past four few days to do a Sarah Taylor puddle pearl pour <laughs> and I'm just not successful oh I am spending so much money on supplies and I just can't get that technique to work but I am a woman who is determined to succeed <laughs> i've got so much perseverance and so i will eventually get that technique to work for me for now we will do dutch pause <laughs> and i'm going to do a few tree swipes for you I'm also going to do some more ring pours, so please look out for those videos. Oh, 
all right the base coat is laid down let me pop the air bubbles I want to get a little more I see it's just a bit uneven because I'm seeing the wood through the paint and I want to get that nicely covered nicely covered not too thick but I don't want to see the wood through the paint there we go that's perfect So the colors I'm going to use, this is a Prussian blue. I just have a very tiny bit in this cup and I'm going to use it up. Prussian blue. I've taken a paints gray and I've added some white and I've got a bluish gray. I've used this paint in one of my previous pours as well. I've got a black as well as a burnt umber and I'm going to add in some white and gold. So those are my colors for the pour. So on this canvas, I'm not just going to be using one line. I'm going to be adding almost another tentacle, if, if you can call it that. I've done this before on a pour that I've done, I think, September last year. I'm going to link it up at the top so that you can go and have a look where I actually added an extra line to my Dutch pour. That was about... Oh gosh, five, six months ago. And then I did one um, just after that. It was the fire on a black base. I also used an extra line, almost a tentacle to the main line on my Dutch ball. So this one I'm going to start here. I want to go that way. And then I'm going to add an extra tentacle there. So this is not new for me. It's something that I've done months ago already. Let's lay down the Prussian blue. I want a nice solid line of Prussian blue. Here we go. I'm going to do the bluish grey next. Then I'm going with a gold. Then a hint of the umber. Just a hint of umber. Not a thick line at all. little bit of the black and I'm going to end off with some white great stuff let's use the torch once again just to pop those bubbles Now to blow it out. Love it. Love, love, love it. Just love it. Blew out so beautiful. Let's pop the air bubbles again. Give it a final torch. Just love it. Oh, just gorgeous. Beautiful.
ağzını. There's just some specks of paint which I want to lift out. It's blobs of dried paint. Just lifting it off the canvas. Absolutely beautiful. There's nothing I need to do to this painting. I'm not even going to blow it. Apart from bringing you down for a closer look. Wow. Look at the composition in this touch ball. This 50 centimeter wood round looks so amazing. I am so happy with the outcome of this painting. Beautiful results. Isn't that amazing? Just beautiful. Let me know what you think of this painting in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. Thank you for watching everyone. Please take care and stay well. The next video will be out on Thursday. Bye for now.